What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh exclusive. And hello from sunny California. <laughs> I'm here on vacation from school. Uh, I'm currently visiting my brother and his wife and it's a lot warmer here than it is in Chicago. So it's a nice little getaway for me. While I'm here, still wanted to bring you guys some content. I'm finding it hard to find time and space to shoot. So while I have it, I'll make it and uh, hopefully get the content out to you guys at some point, even maybe not today, but while I'm gone, uh, between now and when I get back home. Real quick, want to give you a quick review today about a beautiful fragrance I just got my nose on not long ago. And this is from a relatively new house. The house is called Commodity, and they have a line of fragrances that are kind of in the realm of different commodities like gold and books and things like that. Interesting scents. You can find them at Sephora. Uh, you can find them online. This particular scent we're talking about today is Wool by Commodity. Uh, really, really interesting scent. I just happened to come across it in Sephora and was almost going to just write it off. I'm like, wool? Is that literally going to just smell like wool? I don't want to smell that. But the inner developing frag reviewer in me kind of kicked in and said, no, get your nose on it just so you know. So I smelled it, immediately loved it. Not what I thought at all, but it has definitely become an interesting fragrance the more I've been able to spend time with it. And even more so just kind of exceeded what I ex expected from it. Getting into this fragrance right off the top, you spray it, it's fresh. Like, whoa, how is this fresh? It comes off just immediately fresh and uplifting. Uh, there's lavender in the heart of this fragrance and that comes out immediately. It's just so bright. We also get some citruses up top. There's mandarin orange and there's grapefruit as well. So it adds a little bit of sweetness to it from the mandarin orange mainly, but the combined citruses, we get this very bright and uplifting kind of zestiness, which also adds to the freshness. Also up top, we get some apple, which I clearly get from the beginning. And it has a beautiful note to add in the top of this fragrance. It makes it sweet. And it all definitely comes off as the scent of apple, but it's still pretty well blended. So overall, the opening of this is a very fresh and bright, sweet scent. It's very, very nice, very pleasant to begin with. There's also a bit of an herbal nature. That's actually a really strong element of this fragrance. Uh, we do have a herbal note in the fragrance called Artemisia, which I've not, never actually smelled before smelling this fragrance, but in really spending time with the fragrance and really kind of researching Artemisia, what it is and what it tends to smell like, I can definitely sense it. I'd love to smell it in its natural form, but Artemisia is definitely making a huge appearance in this fragrance as this herbal kind of planty <laughs> note. Planty, not a word, but you get the idea. So, so far we have a really interesting mix. We have this bright citrusness. We have this very fresh and aromatic lavender note mixed with this apple, which makes it even more sweet. And we have this strong herbal note. Now me personally, I haven't really smelled a fragrance with this mix. And right from the get go, again, just utterly pleasant. That's all I can say. This mix really makes this fragrance smell pretty natural. It smells like something you might find or smell in a wet and dewy forest, to be honest. Now, throughout all of this that I've smelled thus far, this is in like the first five minutes, the one thing that I'm wondering to myself is, how the heck can something like this remind me of wool? And the weirdest thing is that it does, for some reason, this reminds me of fresh wool. This mix, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of magic, it really is. There's kind of like this paradoxically stuffy element to it that comes from the freshness, it's kind of ironic, that really makes it smell like fresh, clean wool, like a wool sweater, but with a little bit of sweetness to it as well. I think what makes this a little bit stuffy is the herbal nature, which I wouldn't even really call it stuffy, I just call it earthy. And that's again coming from the Artemisia. Now I would say overall this fragrance is very, it's kind of mainstream. Uh, it's very safe. Again, it's just kind of a fresh, clean, but again, herbal and sweet, aromatic kind of fragrance. And it's something that I think definitely transcends just regular designer fragrances, but it does still come off as so pleasant 
and so kind of mainstream that it's very much signature scent worthy. It's not really daring at all. It could almost be taken for a design of fragrance. Uh, but from what I understand, Commodity does kind of brand themselves as a niche fragrance company. So take that as you will. But either way, labels don't matter. It's a pleasant scent. Now, the triad of the definitive accords in this fragrance, which are fresh, herbal, and sweet, uh, I believe really make this fragrance extremely versatile. Immediately, I'm kind of reminded of Legacy from Cristiano Ronaldo, which I have a review on. If you want to check that out, link down below. That also has a very strong lavender note. So right up top, we have this aromatic lavender freshness, but it dries down to this like warm, sweet scent that is talking about legacy now with this we kind of have the same deal it starts out really fresh and aromatic and kind of herbal and then it dries down to this really warm sweetness uh, which kind of almost comes out of nowhere so that makes it very versatile it can function as a very nice and uplifting daytime scent work scent whatever just kind of being out and around and i'd say in just about any season warm or cold and also functions as a great night scent because it does kind of have this warmth and invitingness to it when it kind of dries down and becomes more sweet. We do have amber and vanilla in the base, which I believe begin to kind of take over the role of the sweetness that we had at the top and continue to add it from that point on until the end of the life of this fragrance. So that's where that slight sweetness does come from. And I believe as we get along, it does get more and more sweet, not overwhelmingly so, and never becomes cloying at all. But the sweetness is always there, which again, I believe really adds to the versatility of this fragrance. After about 20 minutes, what I mainly get from this fragrance, if I were to really dig myself into the scent, is a sweet plant kind of scent. Kind of sounds strange but also think about it doesn't sound too bad to smell either very sweet fresh kind of planty scent now what i kind of picture with this fragrance i've never really experienced this so much with fragrances and smelling them but this fragrance immediately puts a picture into my mind i imagine an artemisia plant in the forest soaking up amber and vanilla into its roots and emanating that scent along with its own into the air. That's kind of what this smells like. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it really is. I just, I love smelling it around me. I cannot get enough of this scent. Overall, this is a very pleasant, undeniably masculine and fairly potent scent that I think anybody could wear again at any time. So if I was gonna give this scent a real quick rating, I'm not gonna go into the huge details of it because I haven't really spent a whole lot of time with it, but I did wanna get it on your radar because it made me really excited. Overall, surface level right now, I'm gonna give this scent a nine out of 10. That is subject to change as I spend more time with it, but right off the bat, over about a week's time of just kind of wearing it and wearing it around people and, and just smelling it myself, this is how I feel about it. It just makes me feel good. It smells good. I have no qualms with it right now. I'm not going to call it a perfect scent and give it a 10 simply because I think it needs more time. That would have to be, I would need to be more fair and just to give it at least, you know, a good few weeks of wearing and to really see before I kind of put it in the realm of legendary 10 out of 10 fragrances in my book. But for now, I can definitely say, check it out. Go to Sephora if you can, get a sample of it. Check it out, get your nose on it. You will not regret smelling this scent, trust me. Anyway, that's all I wanted to bring you guys today. Thanks so much for tuning in. This has been another Stay Fresh exclusive. I do wanna point out something. I've been meaning to point this out before and I keep forgetting because I've been kind of traveling and things have been crazy, but I wanted to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed to my channel. I am absolutely blown away uh, I think we've exceeded 1100 subscribers and thank you you can almost put me in tears <laughs> I'm really grateful for you guys it makes it again it makes it easier for me to bring you guys the best content that I can muster as quickly as I can and I just feel more and more inspired to keep seeking new fragrances and new scents to bring you and to recommend and I still want to hear what you guys think 
please don't hesitate to leave me a comment leave me a like or a dislike if you don't like it that's fine subscribe if you like what you see would love to have you back check out my Facebook you can follow me there stay connected check out my Instagram page as well uh, I post on these pages very regularly um, maybe previewing upcoming videos or just my life in general so let's stay connected there peace I'll see you guys in the next one